We've got a huge problem. Sea urchins are munching away on all of our kelp. We've lost control. There's just too many of them. There was a good area of abalone habitat there one year and the next it was all gone. We just couldn't believe how quickly that the urchin barrens developed. This is what it used to look like with all the healthy reef and the habitat. And then this is a barren, so it's basically a desert. Formerly pristine reef areas, just end up looking like a concrete slab. If we're losing species, if we're losing kelp, if we're losing key abalone species, lobster, those industries will disappear. We just can't sit idly by and lose any more habitat to sea urchins. It's time to act. What we can do here is utilise human intervention to push back against it and look after areas of reef that we use and hold dearly. Human intervention does work. It's just commercially difficult. So we need some help to achieve that. Today in Canberra, we're meeting with ministers, we're meeting senators, uh, we're informing them of the, of the issue we have in southeastern Australia, which is the long spine sea urchin. And we're providing them with solutions to the problem. And the key solution is the commercial fishery. So we can eat these sea urchins, but the commercial fishery needs a leg up and needs a helping hand to be able to, to remove the number of urchins off the reef that we need and we need to develop products to, to maximise the economic output of the sea urchin. And in doing so, if we can increase the value of the fishery, we can then increase the economic sustainability of the fishery, and that will lead to more sea urchins coming out of the water and help protecting our environment. The response to this has been fantastic by the politicians that we've met. It's a real win-win situation. They can see that. It's a win for the environment and it's a win for the economy.